fellow baseball fans, and welcome. Diamond Dynasty Baseball coming your way on the show. It's the Detroit Tigers taking on Springfield. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. All right, ready to get underway. Leading and here is Matt Beerling. The center fielder, Matt Beerling. The wind of the pitch. That's in there. And that's how this game gets started. First pitch, 7 o'clock. Right side. Judge has it sized up. Puts it away for the out. Here's Riley Green. Outfield playing pretty shallow. On the ground, right side. Miller gets oh. it to first. Quick start here this Not evening. Two out, top of the first. The Two outs, base is empty. Kerry Carpenter Carpenter's. will hit next. On the ground, and it goes Good just crap. foul. Chris, one dubious note on Evaldi. May 18, 2022, he matched a big league record, gave up five homers in an inning against the Astros. Alvarez, Tucker, Pena, Brantley, and, and he got him. Strike three, and that'll retire the side. Bottom of the first, digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Christopher Morell. And the pitch. There's a strike. Oh, and one. And the pitch is outside. Ball one. The one one is fouled off. The one two. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. The one two. Now one missed. And now it's filled up. Payoff pitch. Struck him out looking. Batting second. Here's Guriel. Loaded. Guriel. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Swing and a miss. Way inside, gets out of the way. That's the third. To first, but it pulls him off the bag. Here's a big power threat. Spencer Steer. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. On the ground is short, could be two. Maytong, toss to second, and that's two. Back here at the ballpark, top of the second. Here's the power hitting catcher, Jake Rogers. Jake Rogers. Down the middle for a strike. It's 0-1. And that's in for a strike. Well, he didn't like those first two pitches down in 0-2 hole. He's going to have to battle. Hope he gets a mistake. That one misses. Now one, one and two. Two strike. Here's a rocket out to left. Hauls it in for the out. Andy Abanez digs in now. Swings through that one. Oh, and one. one. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. Next offering is fouled back. Second inning here, no score. Swing and a miss, struck him out, and there's two away. 
And here's the first baseman, Spencer, Spencer Torkelson. Swing and a miss. That's strike one. Swings through that. One, two. Foul ball. It stays nothing in two. And a pitch. And down on strikes. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. And welcome back. And stepping in is the speedy Riley Green. Scoobal back to work. Out into left center for a line drive base hit. And that's going to roll to the wall. Makes the turn and heads for second. And he's got a leadoff double. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. I'll tell you. Man, it's such a good feeling when you smoke a line drive into the gap like that. I mean, sure, home runs are king, but I feel like nothing makes you feel that's like okay. a true professional hitter more than a bolt the that's other way. Aaron Judge stands in here, leaves that one off the inside. Green stands at second with no outs. Chris Judge has been an exit velocity monster, leading the league in exit velo in 17, 18, 19, 21, and 2022. Yeah, he makes that hot corner at third base. <laughs> that one misses. Three balls, no strikes. That's out to center field. And it drops in. Run scores easily, and it's 1-0. Wide throw, and it gets away. Well done. Drives in the run. When you flare a ball out behind second base, it's really a tough spot for anyone to get to. And you're never trying to do that as a hitter. But when you do, I tell you what, you're yelling at it the entire way to get down. Eddie Rosario stands in now and watches strike one. Strike two. Quickly down 0-2 in the count. I think you got to choke up a little bit, spread out the feet. You don't know what the velocity or the location of this next pitch is going to be. One ball. That one misses, and the count is one and two. Just missed. It's a good take. Next offering upstairs. Snap throw to first, no, he's and he's back in safely. Go. Judge on the run. This one in the air right field. Can't get their base hit. And he's got a double. That's now three hits in a row for the offense. Put a pretty good jolt into that one. Great swing, nice balance, and weight transfer. And he got it to drop in out there in the deep part of the field. And now the batter is Carson Kelly. And he hits a ground ball right side. Knocks it down. Throw to first for the out as the run comes in from third. The batter now will be Will Smith. Hit hard, should be extra bases. Runner from third comes across, and they lead by three. First pitch swing in, went up there with a the plan to be aggressive. Nice line drive to the pole side right there, but he didn't spin off of it. That's the key. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. Owen Miller oh, now at the plate as he swings through strike one. Swing and a miss. 0 oh, 2. Now he steps out of the box as he asks for time. Oh, 0 2 now. Got him swinging. The left fielder, number five. Back to the top of the lineup. Now here is Christopher Morell. And yeah, the first offering is not close. into center 
Veerlin settles under this one. And he makes the catch. And that's the inning. Welcome back. And now the shortstop, Nick Maton. Nick Maton. Ivaldi back to work. So after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that oh, shutdown one. inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. Hey. Next offering is in for a strike. Waves at the bender for the strikeout. The batter now, Javier Baez. Baez, 30 years old now. Usually a shortstop, but today he's starting at second base. In the air, left side. Morrell moving under it. And it's caught for the out. Well, the one thing he'll find is that a lot of the time the play is to your back. You're moving to your right. You've got to throw back to first base. That's the difference between shortstop and second. You're usually moving into the play at shortstop. Second base, not so much. foul ball one low Boog it looks like somebody missed the swing sign that's the first pitch this team's taken for a ball all game long the one one is fouled off left hand batter waits got it by him for the K Back here at the ballpark. Now it's the shortstop, Lourdes Goriel Jr. Swing, and that's ripped towards right center. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one away. Next to hit, Spencer Steer. He's 0 for 1. That one's in there, 0 and 1. And the slider oh, just down. misses. Nasty backdoor slider. There's really nothing you can do with that if you swing at it. So that's a good take by him. Next one misses. One. And it's two and one. There's a strike. Good job to fight that one off. One down, base is empty. Off the mark there, and that's ball three. Definitely a swing and miss slider down and in. He finished that really well. Just couldn't get him to offer at it. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. Makes a nice grab at a full sprint. And there are two down. Now here is Riley Green. One for one with a double and a run scored. That one the other way. Nice grab. And welcome back. Here's the center fielder, Matt Veerling. The wide to kick the pitch. And there's a strike. That one hammer, but pulled foul. Clearly hoping he could get a swing and miss on that, but doesn't fool the hitter with that breaking ball. Nice job, just couldn't keep it fair. Pitch misses inside. inside. And yeah, that's ball one. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. The left so digging in, Riley Green Riley. grounded out his first time. In there for strike one. Now this guy is just filling up the strike zone right now. 
Don't want to get yourself in an 0-2 hole. You better be ready to pull the trigger on the first pitch. The Tigers hitless so far in the game. Lifted in the air right center field. Morrell moving under it. He's got it. And there's two away. Kerry Carpenter now at the plate. Went down looking on three pitches last time. Let's see if he can be a little more aggressive right here. Check swing, but he went too far. And it's 0-1. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Bottom four. Here's the left fielder, Aaron Judge. The pitch. And that's downstairs and outside. Aaron Judge in 2016 got 95 plate appearances and hit just 179. He kept that number, 179, in the notes section on his iPhone the entire offseason. And then in 2017, he had 52 homers and won the Rookie of the Year. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. He put a great swing on that ball. Took the barrel right to it. Nice extension as well. 105 exit velocity. That tells you everything you need to know about that swing. Kicks and fires. Strike two. Yeah, that rookie season for Aaron Judge makes the all-star team, wins the home run derby down there in Miami, and just really step it into the bright lights of being a superstar player in this league. The pitch. Got him. And there's one down. Carson Kelly, the next to hit. He's over one. And there's a foul ball. Judge at first, one gone. This one in the air, center field. Veerling has this one sized up. Brings it in. Two down. And up to the plate is Will Smith. Squirts away a little bit, and no movement on the bases. It's ball one. The lefty, the 1 0. -oh. And that one off the outside edge. Step off throw to first. Judge back in standing. The pitch. Judge on the run. And that one hammered. That's back there. That one is gone. He circles the bases, and they add to the lead. It's five zip. When a guy's got a real hard fastball, you can't overswing. All you've got to do is get the bat head to the spot. If you do, he supplies the power, and you'll get to jog around the bases like he did right there. Now the batter now, Owen Miller. And first offering is fouled off. Now one and one. Clearly, he hasn't had it in this game, and looks like sooner than later, they're going to have to go to the bullpen. That one clubbed out towards left center. That'll be extra bases. Around first, heading for two. And he's in there standing up with a two-out double. Everything came together for him. Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. Now a right-handed arm out of the bullpen. Alex Fiedo. Still pretty early in the ball game, so this bullpen has some work ahead of him. Best case scenario might be if he can come in here and get several quick outs, kind of bridge the gap that starter left for him. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And a 
big swing and a miss. Well, you know this guy wants to pitch up, something that he can hit hard and drive over the wall. But you've got to set your sights down a little bit. You can't lose your discipline and go after a pitch that you just can't do anything with. He swings and hits a fly ball. Center field. Deerling under it. He's there. He's got it. And that is that. Ready now for the fifth Leading inning. The now here's the Detroit catcher, Detroit Jake Rogers. Jake Rogers. Here the right hander back to work. That's in there. And that is strike one. Well, these Tigers just aren't putting together very many good at-bats in this one. We're in the back half of the game, and they're still searching for a base runner. He's been great out there on the mound, no doubt. But it's also been a disappointing performance at the plate to this point. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And the leadoff hitter retired in the fifth. Now the third baseman, Andy Abanez. Struck out swinging his first time. Strike one. And oh, as we get deeper, it's not going to get any easier. These at bats are going to feel more and more desperate with every out the rest of the way. Swing and a miss. Oh, and the oh, count is 0 right. and 2. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. And next to hit for Detroit, Spencer Torkelson. And he swings and misses, and it's oh, nothing at all. Count. Hey, seven straight strikes to start the frame. He's got a chance at an immaculate inning. Next offering is in for a strike. All right, there's number eight, one away. Ball. Next pitch just misses. One ball. And Two that strikes. is ball one. Three. Got him looking. And that is that. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Here's Lourdes Gurriel Jr. And a pitch. And that one is lifted in the air. Veerling trots over to his left. Snags it on the run. One down. Every day during batting practice, these outfielders get about 10 minutes of balls in the gaps. They practice this, and when the game comes, they make the play perfectly. Steer up to the plate for the third time as he looks at one down low. Ground ball left side, and that's just foul. And now it's even up. Kicks and deals. Pitch misses, and now it's three and two. Popped up, Baez on the move. Puts the squeeze on that one. Two down. And now, now here is Riley Green, one for two. Green. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Way out front for strike two. Time asked for at the plate. Maybe an attempt to break up the rhythm that he's got going on the mound right now. In the air, out towards left center. Green racing over to make the catch. Welcome back. And the batter will be the shortstop, Nick Maton. And a pitch. Maton measures six feet two inches, 180 pounds. And he's usually a third baseman, but today he's starting at shortstop. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. Now 
next offering is fouled back. Goes down looking. Now it's Javier Baez. Glide out his first time. And that's in there for strike one. The offense needs to start showing some fight against this starter. He's doing his thing out there. They're going to have to push back at some point and make him work a little bit harder. Next offering is in for a strike. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Now at the plate, Zach McKinstry. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. Ball and one. takes low for ball one. I always remember watching Johan Santana pitch, and when he was in his prime, you would see a lot of guys out in front right handers pulling that change ball, up in the stands right. and then fouling the fastball the opposite field up into the stands. That's Next offering two. misses and that's ball two. Two balls two, two strikes balls. to count two with strikes. two outs. Swing and a miss seven in a row by way of the K. Back here at the ballpark, stepping in the long ball threat, Aaron Judge. And a strike on the outside edge. Well, you really couldn't ask for a better guy to be the face of the game of baseball. I mean, this is a guy that is so team first oriented, doesn't like to talk about himself, will always defer and talk about his teammates. Just impressive. That's a hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Oh, I'm sure he feels really good about that no one. Absolutely eight, hammered that baseball eight, very eight, loud coming off eight, the bat. 107 eight. was the exit oh, velocity, oh, yeah. and at that speed, it's going to be a great result more often than not. Here's Eddie Rosario. Hit on the ground to the right side. Out. Fires to second for one. To He's first, right. not in time. Great effort there. Here's the third baseman, now Carson that. Kelly. The third baseman, Carson oh. Kelly. Fiedo, the tall righty, he features a four-seam fastball, a slider, and he works in a changeup. Rosario runs. Pitch misses inside. Throw! Save! Two oh. And a strike in there. Good pitch to hit on a tee up in the zone. I think he was looking for something else right there. Next offering upstairs. Good purpose pitch right there. Trying to tease him, get him to raise his sights, pop something up, and make it an easy out. Next offering finds the zone of the count is full. Runner leads away at second. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. And there's two down. Will Smith will hit next. He's already homered in this game. Swing and a miss. That's strike one. Good pitch right there. Anytime you can get one by a bat of this caliber, especially with runners on, it's got to give you some confidence out there on the mound that you can win this battle. The 0 2. Upstairs. Swing and a miss. Got him to go up the ladder for the K. All set for the start of the inning. And here's the Tiger leadoff man, Matt Veerling. Ivaldi back to work. Called strike right there. When a guy's throwing a lot of first pitch strikes as a hitter, you got to be ready to hit. Now, that's not going to help you get deep into his pitch count and into the bullpen, but you got to take what he's offering that day. Morell makes the grab one away. 
Riley Green digs in now. And he pumps it a strike. Pretty amazing, his first pitch strike percentage over 90%. You know you're getting something in the zone first pitch. So if you're a hitter, you got to be ready to let it fly, even though he's had a lot of success on that first pitch of the at-bat. Hit on a line, and that's a base hit. And that ends the perfect game bid. He was the right all over, over that field. one. I could watch base hits Very like that one all day perfect. long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. And now, Kerry Carpenter. That Boy, just misses. Off, One and oh. Ivaldi checks the runner. Hey. Green gets back easily. Righty delivers. Fought off foul. Green, the runner at first with one gone to the inning. Swing and a miss. Going to count one and two. Well, the hitter shows the pitcher that he's willing to go after that pitch down in the zone. So perhaps he'll come back to it. Still try to get that ground ball double play. Swing and a miss. And he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. And at first, Jake Rogers now at the plate. Three pitch strikeout last time up. Got to put up more of a fight in this one. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. That one felt good, and they're chipping away. It's 5 2. Looks like this guy was looking out over the plate, but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball. So direct to the pitch, absolutely blasted out of this ballpark. Two outs, nobody on. Now the third baseman, Andy Abanez, who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. Now on the bump, Dowry Moretta. He's into the game with the bases empty. Your attention, please. Now pitching. Dowry Moretta. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. That's a slider for a strike. Swing and a miss. Had him out front for the strikeout. Welcome back. And now, Owen Miller. We talk about guys with good speed, and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris, it's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. Righty to the plate. In the air to left center. Veerling going back on this one. Tracks it down for the out. And there's one down. Now it's going to be Christopher Morell. This one popped up. Makes the grab, and there's two gone. Now batting, shortstop, Lorden, Guriel. Guriel at the plate and takes high there. Well, this is the type of hitter you want up in this situation. Some sluggers coming up behind him. He's so good at moving runners, but also getting on base. See if he can be patient here. Next offering is downstairs. Oh. 
That one ripped left field. And he brings it into the warning track. We're at the top of the eighth. And now the first baseman, Spencer Torkelson. Well, it's critical right here that they bear down and turn in some quality at bats try to chip away at that lead because if it gets to the ninth that closer's coming in the other way morell calls it in and there's one away so up next nick Maton. number nine shortstop nick Maton. swings and misses oh, slider right there And a swing and a miss there. Right-hander kicks deals. Ball one low. And a weak ground ball to the left side. Throws across the diamond. Two up, two down here in the top of the eighth. Now it's the second baseman, Javier Baez. Struck out on just three pitches last time. First pitch, and he just misses. On the ground to short. On to first. Baez gone on the play. Third out. New pitcher for the Tigers, Mason Engler. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. And here's the first baseman, Spencer Steer. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. The pitch. And first offering is fouled off. You know, this group of hitters digging into their numbers have to be happy with the swings they're taking. We've heard lots of loud noise coming from their bats in this one, haven't we? I mean, they've... Now this one's stroked to right center, and that should be extra bases. Safely into second, he's got a double. All over that one right there. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Riley Green, the next to hit, one for three. That one's in there, 0 and 1. And he'll one. Hit hard, that gets through. Steer, around third. The throw in, the run comes in from second, and they lead by four. Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. Just a simple ground ball the other way. They had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. Judge, the next to hit, takes ball one. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. Torkelson makes the grab, one down. At the play, Eddie Rosario. First pitch, just misses. Just missed. Last two pitches have been down in the zone. Pitcher clearly trying to get that ground ball double play. But in this count, he's going to have to give in, elevate his pitches, and get back into this at bat. And there's a fly ball deep right field. And he goes airborne to make the catch. It's a really good swing. He just didn't get quite enough of it to beat the wind. It's blowing in from right field right now. Here's the third baseman, Carson Kelly. Strike one. Oh, and one. Next I pitch is that. outside. And now it's even one and one. Oh. 
Engler over to first. No, said... Green back easily. Green, the runner at first with two gone. And it is two and one. Two balls, one strike. Pickoff throw. And he's back safely. Here's the pitch. Runner goes. In the air, fairly deep to right field. And that is that. We're back. It's the top of the ninth. And there's a new pitcher on the mound, Tanner Scott. He has a great slider with tons of movement. Leading off, Zach McKinstry. The pitch. Scott, the lefty who lights up the radar gun. He features a slider, a four seamer, and he works in a sinker. And One there's a ball. ball. Two strikes. Swings and misses, struck him out. So the lineup flips over. Next to hit, Matt Veerling. In there for strike one. And a foul ball. Here's the 0-2. Stays alive. And he deals. At the ball. Battling here as he fouls it away. Hard ground ball, base knock. Gotta love the resiliency he showed in that at bat, battling with two strikes. Pretty tough for the infielders to do anything with that one. He pulled it hard into the outfield, and even when you keep it on the ground, it feels great when you hit a missile like that. Line to right, and that'll be a base hit. Lead runner around second. To third, not in time. And it's runners at the corners with one gone. One down. Now it's the right fielder, Kerry Carpenter. And that's in there for strike one. Next offering is fouled back. And he'll shoot. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. So they're down to their final out. And next up for the Tigers, Jake Rogers. He's already homered here in this one. Now time is called here. Pitching coach on his way out to the mound. Felix Bautista on to try and close it out. Save opportunity for him right here, and he's their guy. Time to lock this one down and get out of here with the W. One finds the zone. Strike one. They're down to their final strike. Next pitch is downstairs. Got a good eye there. That turns out to be a really good take right there, but you don't want to end this game with the bat on your shoulder. And a swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. Whether you're a season ticket holder or you just come to a couple of games a year, to see your team win at home, there's just something special about that. Good job by these guys to get it done for the hometown fans. And your final, 6-2. to two. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chambi. Talk to you soon.